Case Study, The Family Feud, Histrionic Personality Disorder. It's time for The Family Feud. Introducing the Linwood family. Her, Heidi, Len, Vanessa, and Patrick, ready for action. And the Weaver family. Whisper, Crimp, Fear, Bushy, and Tableman. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud with the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. All right, here we go. It's time to play the feud. Whoa, this is beauty versus experience. What is your name, uh, young lady? My name is Whisper. I, I'm... The voice does not match that you look like a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, I have aging disease, but just vocally. Ah, and sir, you came in uniform? Irv Millerand. I work in the Army Reserves, and uh, during the regular time, I, I work at, uh, it used to, it's a feminine napkin factory, and I, it used to be called Fems, and then you remember that, it's probably before your time. We're and gonna then, ask the question right now. Okay. Hands on the buzzers. Buzzers. Six answers on the board. Board. Fine. A reason you forget a birthday. Oh, Linwood's. Uh, brain damage. You've given someone Show brain us damage. brain damage. Number two. Wow. Yeah. All right, Weavers, you have a chance to steal if you can pick the number one answer. Say again who I am? We're going to just go with the, uh, with the Linwoods over here. We got it. Well, that's hardly fair. I'll show you hardly fair, bitch. I look like a girl, but sound like a Kathleen Turner. Don't know why I'm letting this go on. Let's go down to the Linwood family. Point values are doubled. You could win the game. Who is? Your family. Oh, that's great. But I'm not talking to you. We talking won to the, the next game, person. Then. No, you have not. Well, sir, please. We won the goddamn game. I'd like you to stop talking to me. I can talk to you all day long. It's then what the, I do. Let's cut his mic. Cut his mic. Thank you. Oh, please. Because I have a good amount of knowledge. My mic's still on. Well, and that's uh, Going again. odd you should say that because it's your turn to uh, give us an answer. A reason you forget a birthday. Striped t-shirts slimming because uh, I have a hip problem. My hip Show are... us striped t-shirts. <laughs> oh, sorry. Why? Did we date? Let's talk to you, sir. Hello, Richard. Oh, and, and what is your name? My name's Crimp. Crimp. Crimp, do you have a reason people would forget a birthday? Well, my answer is you were actually egg hatched, so you don't have a birthday. So that you, Show you wouldn't us have one at all. Hybrid human bird egg hatching! <laughs> so sorry. Well, that's Two my, strikes. That's what it is in my case. One chance left. And I wrote a fucking song about Someone it. Someone cut his mic too. Bird mama. Cut his mic too. Hold. When you gonna love my life? Goddamn family's worthless. All right. My mic's still on. Wait, oh, God. I just want to tell you really quick about some feminine napkins. Please, dear God in heaven. Going again now. Now this must be the patriarch of the family, a silver-haired gentleman, very distinguished. What's your name, sir? They call me Fear. All right. Um, Each of my children is named for a quality that instills fear in the enemy. Well, I can't wait to meet them all, but right now, the matter You won't. Several of them are hiding in shadows, like the Jap Ninja. All right. You, Mr. Fear, will be answering for the family. Not Mr. I'm a concept. Well, do you... As a concept, have a reason people would forget a birthday. Uh, tequila party, switching sexual partners, and then early the next Just need morning... need one, pick one answer. Could I finish my word tale? And then early the next morning, you realize you've made a horrible sexual mistake. You apologize, race to the donut store because that's the normal Sunday morning routine. Get there. Your family's already there. They realize that the illegal Congress has already taken Show place. us drunk! Up number one! All right, uh, I'm going to go talk to who I assume is your wife. My breed partner. Uh, Richard, it looks like the breed partner is somehow nursing a litter. People are animals. Subhuman, ghoulish pigmen. We'll cut that out later in editing. 